Welcome to fishing with the Power Fishing Pro Hybrid Electric Fishing Reel with Dan Galusha, inductee to the Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame. Today, Dan will be demonstrating the Roadrunner Kit using the Power Fishing Pro Reel. Today we're going to be talking about setting up a kit that's just in a single 3700 tackle box that you can use for just about anything. It's, what you're using is what's called a Roadrunner. It's a jig and a spinner bait combined. And by adding different bodies, you can do a lot of different things to it. So it kind of covers all. But what you do is you get a complete kit, and I made up my own. I got several different sort of Roadrunner heads here. This thing is actually called a rolling head, which is a bigger one. It has a more of a nose to it, a bigger blade. This is for your bigger fish, unless the hook is even bigger. For that, I'm going to be using these bigger grubs, like this K-grub. These are for just about any species you would want. This is a little bit bigger one. This is a quarter ounce size with a willow leaf blade. Here's the quarter ounce size with a Colorado blade. You see a whole mess of them there. But... And then I'll have the eighth and the sixteenth ounce sizes besides with each one. And I've got the white. These are the main colors right here. I've got orange, white, and chartreuse. And for these, I add the black to them. You can also use the black here. As I said, you can use them for about any sort of species, and this one kit is a real good thing to use, like if you're just going to take a quick trip on a shoreline or something of that sort, and you can fix it up for panfish, for bass, uh, white bass, just about anything. A little twister tail, you can't beat that, a little bitty old white twister tail. I'm going to make some casts out here to the little deeper water with this, and I'm going to let it drop down. The thing with the Roadrunner is that as it's falling, it's not only making it visible for the body of the fish, but that little spinner is twisting around as she's falling. It's fluttering. So we'll let it drift down a little bit. You want to get the slack out real quick. That's why you want to hit the button on this power reel and zip it in. You can do it a lot quicker with a power reel. And once she gets down there, that one particularly is on the bottom now. I'm going to do it this way because I want to go a little bit slower with it and let it fall each time. So a lot of my techniques with a power reel when I'm using this is more of a, just a pause, go, pause, go, that sort of thing. Bump and go. Another technique I'll use is the rod and the reel together. I'll bring it up, bring this down. Bring up the rod, bring it down. It gives a slower retrieve to that lure. And a lot of times that is the trick to fishing a roadrunner, is to make it as slow as possible. Using a power reel like this with this technique, it's a lot less effort than having to use a regular old crank. Using these techniques, along with the Power Fishing Pro, you can fish longer without fatigue, have more options and techniques for catching fish, and enjoy fishing even more.